I'm actually surprised at my restraint. Normally I unbox these straight away, but I kept it so that we can all see it together. Hello my loves and thank you for joining me. It's Kirsten and this is the Comic-Con weekend read and vlog. I am very excited about this one. It's still a read and vlog because I will be reading, but I am going to Comic-Con. I am dressing up very excited for it. I'm going as Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll insert a picture here for anyone that doesn't know. But yeah, I loved Yu-Gi-Oh! growing up. I do sometimes play the card game as well with my partner and yeah, Dark Magician Girl. Why not? So I have the outfit, um, however it does need an iron. <laughs> so I need to do that today. This is me practicing the hair because she has straight hair so I've straightened my hair, it took me a little while, and also wearing a little bit more makeup than I normally do. Why is it every time I'm starting a new video the lighting goes weird? I don't know what to tell you about that one, but yes. So we're practicing that. That took me just as long as to straighten my hair because I am not the person that wears makeup. And to be honest, there is such a small difference you probably can't even tell. So I'm going to be going to Comic-Con. I've got priority tickets for Saturday morning, which is why I'm starting the vlog now. I also have a general entry ticket for Sunday. I really w am excited to do the two days. The priority one is so that I can actually have a full day of just looking around, taking it all in, actually exploring everything and not feeling like I'm in a rush to do anything. And then Sunday is probably going to be where I do a bit more spending because that's when things get reduced pricing because vendors are trying to get everything sold before they go. So that's what I found it was last year. I only went on the Sunday last year so I want to see if it's going to be the same. Very excited for it all. Like I said I've got to iron my outfit. It did come with a hat because Dark Magician Girl does wear a hat. However this thing is massive on me. It does not stay on, it just falls all over the place. So instead, we're not doing that. I'm gonna be doing a headscarf and I might see if I can like salvage any of this stuff to attach to make it like a half hat thing. I don't know though. I've basically got safety pins and a dream and we're gonna see if it actually works. It probably won't. But the book that I will be taking with me is actually a shorter one. And the idea is that I will finish this across the two days, which I think is gonna be doable because I've got the travel all the way up there. I've got the queue in because there's always a queue to get into Comic-Con. And while I'm at Comic-Con, I'm definitely gonna be taking time to sit down, have sex to eat, just rest a little bit. Last time I went, they had like quiet areas so I'll definitely be utilizing some of that so I'm hoping that I should get this finished across the weekend especially as this book is 224 pages so if that's about 112 pages a day I think that's doable this one is the book that you all voted on you had two options in May and this was the second option which was the classic and I'm intrigued by this one I don't really know what this one is about it's just by Angela Carter who I do want to test her writing see if I like it if I do I'll get more of her work but we're following Maylene and she wanders into the garden wearing her mother's wedding dress the next day she learns her parents are dead she's sent to live with her aunt and uncle but her uncle is a toy maker who only loves the toys that he creates so it doesn't really give you much I don't really know what's going on but I do know that this edition is beautiful we're going to give this one a try so that's what we're going to be reading we're going to be exploring comic-con and spending money that I probably shouldn't be spending so I'll definitely be doing some little hauls of what I get and we'll see. I will try and do some updates while I'm there but it does depend how noisy it is whether you'll even be able to hear me otherwise it's going to be a heck of a lot of b-roll and probably me catching up with you Sunday morning with how the first day went and what I've enjoyed about it and stuff because general entry don't need to get there till later. That's enough of that um let's transition to some b-roll probably the next thing you're going to see is me wearing the outfit and heading off to Comic-Con. I am so excited. You'll have to let me know if you've been, if you would want to go, if you would dress up and who you would go as. I'm very excited for it all. It's going to be a really good day. I hope you enjoy and um, yeah, catch up with you after I've spent some money.
way to day two of Comic-Con and I don't know how well you're going to hear me because I'm recording on my phone but I decided to go as a wood elf today and I am loving this. Honestly I would wear this every day of the week if I could. This is amazing but I have to wear a work uniform. But I thought I'd take a moment before I get on my train to show you my natural habitat and the fact that I loved Comic-Con yesterday. It was absolutely amazing. I will be showing you all the things that I got at the end of all of this, but let's go in for day two. Yesterday was Dark Magician Girl, today we're a wood elf, and let's just enjoy it. I only have general entry today, so it's gonna be less time. I was there for like six and a half hours yesterday, but today's less time, but I planned it like that so that I know all the things that I want to go and look at again, I can do. It was just so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I got asked quite a few times to have photos with me because I was dressed up as Dark Magician Girl and it's more niche. So that was a lot of fun. And the amount of cosplay that I saw was absolutely phenomenal. There were so many that I really, really liked. So yeah, absolutely amazing day, but I do have a train to catch. So I will catch up with you at the end of this video, but I just wanted to show off my natural habitat because I'm a wood elf today. So have to be in the nature part of it all. I'm back home. Comic-Con is now done. It was a really good time, a really good couple of days. I do have, as promised, to show off all the things that I got while I was there and the book that I was reading. You would have seen during the B-roll moments. And actually I did say at the start that I was taking The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter with me. Unfortunately, I didn't actually really enjoy this one. I found it really boring uh, to the point where the last half of this book, I just kind of skim read. I didn't really focus too much on it. It was just... Yeah, boring. We're following our main character, Melina. She's growing up, she's learning things, she's going transitioning in that weird moment of life where you're going from a child to an adult and you're in that in-between stage and she's discovering herself and her body. And during this process, her parents die and she blames herself. She then goes off to her uncle's house. There she finds a mixture of people that live there and the way that she then deals with it, interacts with them, the fact that she's gone from having so much of everything to now nothing, the different in social class, seeing it from a child's perspective, all of those things would be interesting. But for me, I'm reading for enjoyment and this didn't have enough there for me to really enjoy it. Like it's not a bad book, it just didn't have a lot going on and I couldn't really connect to the writing style of this. So unfortunately this I didn't really enjoy. So yeah, that's, that's that book. So I did get what I wanted done over the weekend reading wise, but now we have all the bits that I've bought. Starting off with these elf ears, I actually bought this on the Saturday because I decided that for the next day, I didn't want to go all dressed up as Dark Magician Guy. I wanted something a lot easier to wear. And so I was just going to go in my own clothes. And then I thought about it and I realized actually my own clothes, half the time, I look like I'm out of a fairy tale. So why not chuck on some elf ears and make it out as if I'm a wood elf? And with a couple of slight design changes, it worked. 
So I was, I'm really pleased with these. I really like them. They have little earrings attached, which I think just adds a little bit of character. And they're really easy just to put on and off, which I liked. And they've been comfortable. I've worn them all day and had no issues. So that's been great. While I'm showing off things that I'm wearing, I also picked up this ring, which I'm really, really pleased with. I've been after a plain ring because a lot of the rings I wear have gems in them. So I've been after a plain band ring for a little while. Saw this one. To be fair, I was at that ring store for, for ages, absolutely ages. I won't sugarcoat that I was there for a while. I was really pleased with the ring that I found and chose and I also have this phone case I found today and I am in love with it. It is so cool. I need to get a screen protector because the phone case I was using had a bit more of an edge to it so it protected a little bit above so I haven't been using a screen protector but here it's in line with the screen so I need to get that but I'm so happy with this. Now let's go through the bags. Okay, so I'm literally pulling stuff out at random. The first day though, that's actually quite good. I'm going with the first day bag. So I got this pop figure, which is Hello Kitty. If you don't know me, I like Hello Kitty. I'm a massive Sanrio fan, so I was very happy when I saw this. I know a lot of people like to keep them in boxes. I don't, they sit on my shelves. I don't have many pop figures because I find them a little bit too big. I prefer like little mystery boxes. She's just too adorable. Look how cute. So that will be going on my shelf. You know what, let's put you there. Perfect. It's not going to stay there, but that will do for now. I also got some mystery boxes. So let's unbox these together. I'm actually surprised at my restraint. Normally I unbox these straight away, but I kept it so that we can all see it together. I tend to go for mystery boxes that I like every figure so that I never get disappointed. Oh, look how cute. Oh, that's adorable very very happy a little my melody to add to the collection and then i also have another box because i can never get just the one honestly mystery boxes they are my favorite things i love them so much so i have quite a few how cool how cool i love that and it comes with a little red and black square stand that i can put her on oh so happy. Those were all the figures I got. To be fair, just the three is actually very good for me because normally I go a bit more crazy. I was quite restrained for once. Ah, they're so cute. Now we have, oh, we have an art print. I won this art print, which I was very happy with. Very nice. Espion, of course. And we have a sticker sheet. We have a lot of sticker sheets. You're gonna see a theme, but little mushrooms. Very pleased with those. We have another art print and this time it's Jinx. Oh my gosh, I love Jinx. There was a few people dressed as Jinx from the show Arcane. I am obsessed with that show. I love that show so much. So yeah, of course, had to get a Jinx picture. Absolutely love it. We have this little charm, which is Animal Crossing theme. Eee, so cute. I got this one free because I spent so much. And then I also got some more sticker packs. So we have this one, which is again, Sanrio theme this one some black cat stickers animal crossing stickers because they're cute and ev evolution stickers and a random studio ghibli kiki's delivery service what else have we got in here my hat actually you know what this worked pretty well i was quite impressed with the little diy thing i managed to do with this hat and it stayed on the whole time okay so we've got more stickers like i said we're going to be seeing a theme so we have this one this cute cat with her little mixing potion cauldron. Another Animal Crossing sticker. Honestly, I need to play Animal Crossing again. I miss it. We also have another art print, again, Pokemon themed, and another Pokemon themed art print. I also got this art print, beautiful. Don't ask me where I'm putting all these art prints because I have no idea yet, but we'll find room somewhere. I also have this unicorn one, which I love. I have these, they're like little fruit bunnies which i thought were cute some little dinos with tea some little mushrooms more individual stickers we have this little mushroom these pumpkins with a cat a little ghost with a mushroom two of those and a ghost with a pumpkin and a little snail because why not okay i also got a little graphic novel this is mer this is by katherine ellis and i really liked this i was actually drawn in by the first page i just thought it was really interesting and i loved all of her artwork she has quite a lot of graphic novels so i thought as this was a standalone one i can give it a try it was three pound fifty i was very happy with this i was so tempted to get loads of manga while i was there because they had loads on sale but i was restrained surprising i then also got this super cute print like i am so happy with it that is adorable then i also got 
more stickers so we have this one some fairy another fairy and like a mushroom fairy this beautiful one with a fox and this lovely one and i also picked up a washi tape it's a stamp washi tape which i was very pleased with it's this cat that's also a cactus it was cute that's pretty much all i went on for this day and i also got one of these this is a mini figure Ooh. <laughs> so cute absolutely tiny but adorable okay so that was the first day there was as you can see a lot of art prints and a lot of stickers the second day as i said already i've got my ring and i got my phone case and i didn't actually do quite as much shopping on the second day which is good but i did still get some sticker sheets because they were on sale this one and that one and this little witchy one another witchy one and i think that was it yeah just the fox said i did go a bit crazy with the stickers but i use them when i journal so i don't mind i also got a lanyard i use a lanyard when i'm at work so i really wanted one that's just a bit more different rather than the work one so it's just these little ghosts again cute we're using that word a lot that's what it is I'm very happy with my lanyard and that'll be perfect for when I'm at work. Oh, I got my sisters, they both got birthdays coming up in July, so I got them presents, which I'm not going to show on here. And I also got a necklace. There's this little bird skull. So yeah, that is everything. That's everything I got and I'm very happy with it all. It was a really good time. I really enjoyed it and just seeing everyone dressed up and just being able to see all the different vendors and options and just all of it was a really, really good time. I now need to tidy up all of this, but it was a really good time. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a lot shorter than normal. Actually, potentially not, depending on how long this bit is. But yeah, it was good fun. I enjoyed it. So I hope you did as well. And I think we're going to leave it there. So thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, then let's put a cat emoji in the comments so if you have enjoyed this video please do give it that thumbs up subscribe and comment to let me know that you're here social media links will be linked below and i will of course catch you in the very next video